Hey guys, what's up? It is Thursday evening. Man, we've got a lot to talk about today. Let's get into it. But first, how successful was your week? What did you get accomplished? Was your overall week, would you call it a success? Um, we'll see about mine. Um, tell you the truth, I'm actually kind of digging this uh, two-part series uh, that we're going to be doing here. Um, kind of starting the week off on one foot and then closing it out on the last day. Kind of looking back and seeing how successful we were and kind of what needs to change and what we need to work on and, you know, just keep on pushing, keep on grinding. So Sunday was the vlog that we talked about what we had to do this week to be successful. And uh, today is the day that we um, kind of go through and see if uh, see how we did. Let's roll the intro. to go over today um, so I don't really know how this is gonna work I don't know if we're gonna put like a list like right here or maybe on this side or maybe like overhead or I'm not really sure how we're gonna do this um, just kind of roll with the punches until we kind of figure this out over the next couple weeks but um, so basically the way I kind of foresee this happening is I'm gonna go through the list of things that I put down on Monday that would make this week successful and kind of talk about each and every one of those individually and then try and condense it down into like a nine minute vlog. Um, I can tell you right now that I'm not quite satisfied with like the sitting at the desk type of thing. It feels more like a traditional YouTube video and less like a vlog. So um, that will change in the future. Um, that one's uh, definitely something that we're going to kind of go back to like the handheld camera type of uh shooting it's just anyway let's go ahead and get into it so number one was i had to complete uh delia and michael's hi highlight reel um i did not um i got pretty close so we finished everything but the speeches and like the final kind of like farewell type of uh, scene, like uh, the sunset scene. So those are the two things that I really haven't completed yet. Friday and so Friday, tomorrow and Saturday, I pretty much have open rain uh, to get that stuff done. So I, I believe I'll get caught up, but that's definitely one thing that I missed the mark on this week. Um, which is unfortunate because that was the one thing that I was like, I got to get this done. It has to get done this week. So the game plan is to finish it up by Saturday night. That way we start the week again brand new and caught up, so to speak. So number two was to release the What I Learned in 2019 video, which you can watch that actually released this morning. Um, I'm not real happy with the way it turned out. Uh, it's about 27 minutes long, and I feel like I should be able to get these types of videos down to between seven and nine minutes long. There was a lot of times that I was kind of going off on a tangent and repeating myself and things like that, stuff like that that needs to be edited out. Uh, but uh, kind of like this, this this type of uh, situation that we're in right now, uh, the first one's probably going to have a little bumps here or there, uh, but we did see it to completion, so that's, that is a, a positive thing. But um, editing it down to where it's that seven or nine minute window is kind of what I'm looking at. So I apologize for the length of that one. It probably will happen again, but I'm going to try to keep it uh, to seven to nine minutes. So number three, this was a big one because this was something that kind of needed to happen last year. And I kept putting it off and putting it off. And I finally got around to registering my business here in the state of Ohio and with the IRS um, happy to announce, proud owner of Graphic Sauce Media, LLC. Um, and so let me tell you, the actual process of registering a business and and going through, like jumping through the paperwork uh, hoops and all that, it really wasn't too bad. There was a few things that I had to look up. Uh, thank God for YouTube. Um, there's a couple really nice, uh, well put together channels that walk you through how to do uh, how to actually register your business and what you know what you need to register and what everything means. So the one thing that I really didn't prepare for, and this kind of would would go back to my scheduling conflict, is I didn't leave myself enough time to actually do this project. I figured it would take myself about an hour to do. Amanda's gone through the process once before, so I thought between the two of us we'd be able to knock this out in about an hour. Well, it turns out that um, it takes about two to two and a half hours to kind of go through all the paperwork. They the government puts out a actually a pretty good step-by-step -step guide 
Um, and I'll link to all this stuff below to help you guys out if you're interested. But they put together a pretty helpful step-by-step -step guide. Um, there's just a few things in there that, that were kind of misleading as far as like broken links. There was a couple um, really kind of like the directions, it looked like the directions were from like two or three versions of the website uh, previous. I wish I would have scheduled myself more time to finish it, um, but I'm glad I got it done. It's definitely something to, to check off. Um, number four was kind of a small one. I wanted to start the process of cleaning up my Instagram. Um, right now it's very kind of amateur. There's not a lot of consistency in what's uploaded. The subject matter is all over the place. So I want to go back through and delete all those and kind of start fresh, but I wanted to start off right and have actual content to put up there first. So my goal was to go through some of my past weddings and find some clips and some stills and things like that. Not necessarily to upload this week, but to get ready to upload maybe next week or the week after. Um, so I went through, I found, I found a couple different clips, a couple different scenes that I was like, oh yeah, I could really make this into like a 30 second clip. You know, I've downloaded some music, put together a few, a few different versions of, uh, different weddings that I liked and enjoyed. So I finished up the, the last one I was working on and I was like, you know what? I probably should look at kind of like the parameters and, and things like that to upload these types of things. What's that process like? You know, I had already done my due diligence and found out what like the dimensions are like, right? Cause we're not shooting horizontal. We're now shooting vertical. And let me tell you, that was difficult, right? I thought for sure I'd just be able to look through and be like, okay, I like that clip, that clip, that clip, and that clip. All right, bring those in and push it together and you're good to go. But the fact of the matter is, you have to really have an eye for vertical video and not every clip will work. Um, some clips are just meant for horizontal and that's the thing you kind of fall into this trap where you're just like everything you shoot is horizontal because that's, you're going to put it on the big screen TV. You're going to put it, you're going to put it on your, you're going to put it on your phone. Um, nothing, you know, is vert, nothing really prepares you for that vertical shot. So it kind of, um, it kind of eliminated a lot of the videos and clips that I wanted to use because they just wouldn't work. Um, on top of that, you know, taking something that's shot like in, in this and then shrinking it down and then expanding it upwards, you know, you're, I, th I think I found out you have to zoom in like 2.25, two and a quarter times and your the quality just goes out the window at that point. Um, so I was able to salvage a couple different films uh, or a couple different sections of a film rather and cut them down to about 30 seconds long um, So I've got those saved. I went ahead after I finished the third one I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and take a look and see how to get these uploaded. So well, it turns out you can't upload from your computer um, And uploading video is a little bit more difficult than you might think uh, to at least to Instagram. So um, from what I can tell the, you're mostly uploading to Instagram TV, which your your file has to be between one minute and 60 minutes. So my 30 second clips were no longer good, could not use those. So however, I did find a couple Instagram feeds that had like a grid that had video on it, on the actual, like with the rest of their pictures. And they were less than 60 seconds. So I guess I have to do a little bit more digging um, which is okay. That's fine. Um, I'm going to still count this as a victory because I was able to pull through a couple different clips and put together some, you know, some content for my actual page. I just got to figure out how to upload that. Now, whether or not it's possible at this point, if they've, they've changed the parameters and the requirements and you have to upload through Instagram TV, that's fine. Um, it's all right. I just want to make sure that all my stuff's together. So so we'll probably put that in the actual docket for next week. So again, like I said, I'm going to call it a victory because we made some really cool clips and um, whether they get used or not, it's a lot of fun and kind of gives me an idea on what I want to do in the future for, you know, some of these Instagram stories and Instagram videos. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to, you know, take your, your camera and go, okay, this is for the, this is for the wedding film. Okay. Now we're going to do it again. This is for Instagram and turn it on its side. It's going to be really, really weird to do that, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. So there's some extra things that happened this week that I kind of want to talk about. Um, so aside from what we had planned to do this week, we also had a potential client phone call this week and it actually turned out pretty good. Uh, we haven't, we haven't quite got the actual, uh, contract yet, 
but I feel like the first phone call went really well. This is actually a referral from a previous bride. Um, and to kind of, to kind of talk about that real quick, I want to, I want to bring this in just a little bit because I want to talk about this. The, the referral came from a bride that hasn't seen her final product yet. Um, so like this referral is based on customer service day of event type of situation, type of interaction. Um, I couldn't feel more honored or more blessed. Um, that makes me feel really good that someone's like, Hey, you know what? You did so well the day of our wedding and we haven't seen our final product yet, but you did so well that I'm going to recommend you to this person. And then that person takes that advice and actually contacts me and says, Hey, I want to talk to you about your business. You know, we're thinking about hiring a videographer. Phone call went great. But at the end of the day, I, I'm honored that someone would do that, but I'm still a little, I, I'm a little weary because they haven't had their, they haven't seen their final product yet. And it really kind of sets the bar high that this, this product needs to be top notch. So the, uh, so the other thing that we did this week was put together Eli's Pinewood Derby car. Um, and this, it's so weird because like we sit down and you design it and you're like, this is what we're going to do. And you go out and you, you know, cut the thing up and you, you're getting ready to paint it. You sand it down, you get, you know, kind of feel out for where the wheels are going and things like, and you know, you kind of design this piece of, you know, this toy, so to speak. And it brought me back to when my dad did it with me and like, I immediately went back. We I was probably in Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts for, I don't know, four, probably like four or five years. So I remember four or five different cars. And like while we were working on it, I was like, I was just kind of reminiscing about the cars that we made and remembering that we were out in the garage and those cold nights, you know, sanding and cutting and drilling and forming this Pinewood Derby car. And... I just remember how excited I was when we finally finished it. And I, you know, being on the other side of that, it's just, it just hits you right in the feels, right in the feels. So anyway, that's what we did this week. So was this a success? Did we have a successful week? Yeah, we didn't fish or finish our top priority. We got damn close. And I feel like we could finish that by the end of the weekend um, and really kind of kick off Monday you know, in stride, but, um, you know, I'm going to call it a successful week, right? We finished three out of the four. Like if we take the, if we take the highlight reel as a complete failure, right? We finished three out of four. Uh, we had a successful client phone call and we have spent some, you know, spent some quality time with the family. Great weekend. I'm going to call this a success. I don't know what you guys think. Leave it down in the comments below. Do you think it was a successful week? Do you think it wasn't? What do you, you know, what's your, uh, what's your opinion? I want to hear about how your week went. So leave that down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.